Welcome back students to the third part of chapter 3 Physiography and Drainage. So today we will learn about the physiography of Brazil in detail. Brazil's geography is fascinating. It impresses us with its natural glory and complexity. It is home to the Amazon rainforests, Brazilian highlands, and vast stretches of coastline. There are no high mountains and mountain ranges. Plains are visible only in the north of Amazon and the upper part of Paragua Basin. The coastal plains are not so wide. So let's study the physiographic division of Brazil. Brazil is divided into five physiographic divisions. First, the highlands. So this is the Guyana highland and this is the Brazilian highland. Second, the Great Escarpment. So this is the escarpment. Third, the coastal region, so this is the coastal region. Fourth, the plains, so, so this is the plain in the northern part and this is the plain in the southwestern part. And the last, the islands group. So we will now move on to the first physiographic division, the highlands. The southern part of Brazil is occupied by extensive plateau. So this is the southern part and this is the plateau region. This, it is described as the Brazilian highland, Brazilian plateau or Brazilian shield. I've already explained you what is a plateau but I'll again explain you. A plateau is a highland or an area which is higher than the land around it. Around it. it has a flat table-like top. Brazilian, Brazilian and Guyana Highlands together are the main part of the South American continent. So this is the Guyana Highland and this is the Brazilian Highland. So they're the main parts of the South American continent. The Guyana Highlands extend from Venezuela to French Guyana. So it's from here, to from Venezuela, to from this end to this end. Its lower part is found in the states of Roraima, Para and Amapa. So Roraima, Para and this is Amapa. The highest peak is Pico de Neblina, which is 3,014 meters high and lies between Brazil and Venezuela. So it lies between Brazil and Venezuela. So this is Pico de Neblina. If you can see here, this is the highest peak. Most of the Brazilian highlands have a height between 500 to 1,000 meters. Only the regions to the south and the east have an altitude more than 1,000 meters. The slope is towards the north and it's not very steep. The tributaries of the Amazon flowing through this region make rapids and waterfalls. Now, what is a rapid? The word rapid itself means very fast. Rapids are nothing but areas of fast flowing water in a river or a stream that makes a slight descent. They occur where the places in the riverbed are rocky and the river runs fast around them. Number of rivers take off from the terminal portion of the highlands and flow towards the north to meet the Atlantic Ocean. So if you see here, we see number of rivers, they flow towards the north to meet the Atlantic Ocean. So this is the northern part of the, this is the North Atlantic Ocean and many rivers, they join the Amazon or they move towards the Atlantic Ocean. 
rivers like Uruguay, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Parana originate from the southern slopes of the highlands and enter Argentina. This is Argentina. It slopes towards the east and it uh, its slope towards the east is steep and appears in the form of escarpment and it joins the South Atlantic Ocean. We now move on to the second physiographic division of Brazil, the Great Escarpment. The escarpment occupies small area and because of the nature of its slope, it affects the climate and that's the only reason why it is an important physiographic division of Brazil. Now, what is an escarpment? An escarpment is a long steep slope, especially one at the edge of a plateau or a separated areas or separated areas of land at different heights. The eastern part of Highland is demarcated because of the escarpment. So this is the Highland and uh, this is the eastern part and it is differentiated because of the escarpment. In this region, the altitude is 790 meters, gradually decreases in height in some regions. The escarpment is very steep from Sao Paulo to Porto Alegre. So from this region to this region, the escarpment is very steep. It acts as a barrier to the southeast trade winds. So these are the southeast trade winds and it acts as a barrier to the escarpment acts as a barrier to the southeast trade winds giving rise to the rain shadow region in the northeastern part of the highlands. The region to the north of this area is called drought quadrilateral. So this particular area is called the drought quadrilateral. So this is the uh, bigger image. So this is the drought quadrilateral so if in case in the exam they ask you to draw drought quadrilateral you should be able to draw we now move on to the third physiographic division of brazil the coasts brazil has a coastline of 7400 kilometers so this is the coastline of brazil okay It is divided into two main parts, the northern and the northern coast and the eastern coast. The northern coast extends from Amapá State in the north to Rio do Grande do Norte in the east, called the Atlantic Coast. So this particular region is called the North Atlantic Coast. From there, the eastern coast extends towards the south. So from here, the eastern coast, it extends towards the south. So this is the eastern coast. The northern coast is a low-lying region because this is a low-lying region because many rivers like the Amazon pass from here and enter into the North Atlantic Ocean. So we see here, there are many rivers which flow in the northern north atlantic ocean and that's the reason this particular region is low-lying region the marajo island and the marajo and sao marcos base lie on this coast so if you see this is the this is the marajo island this is the marajo bay sao marcos bay so they lie on the north atlantic coast The Marjo is a large coastal island located between the mouths of the river Amazon and the river Tocantins. So if you see this particular diagram, this is the Amazon River and this is the river Tocantins. So if you see here, the Marjo Island, okay, lies between these two rivers. 
South Francisco is the only river passing through the, this is South Francisco River, it's the only river passing through the eastern coast and meeting the Atlantic Ocean. So it meets the Atlantic Ocean. In some areas of the Brazilian coast, in some areas the Brazilian coast is protected by coral reefs and atoll islands. So these are the coral reefs and we have the atoll islands. Now what do you mean by coral? So let's see what are corals. So if you're going to see, this is the coral reef. This is the coral reef which protects the Brazilian coast. Now this is this is coral. This is what we mean by coral. Now coral is a hard skeleton left behind by marine polyps. So these are polyps. If you see these, these are polyps. So coral is nothing but it's a hard skeleton. Okay, left by these marine polyps. Now what do we mean by reefs? A reef is a raised area on the ocean floor that is made up of rock, sand or coral. So this is a reef. It, if you see, it is a raised area on the ocean floor made up of rock, sand or coral. So this is a coral reef. Now what do you mean by a lagoon? A lagoon is a shallow body of water separated by barrier islands or reefs. Now pay attention, this is a lagoon. A lagoon is a shallow body of water. So this is this is water. If you see in this particular circle, there is water separated by barrier islands. So these are the islands or reefs. It could be any reef. It could be coral reef. Okay. Now, atolls. So the reason why I explained you all these definitions or the meaning of these words so that you understand what an atoll is. Atoll is a ring-shaped reef. If you see, atoll is a ring-shaped reef. It's a ring-shaped reef. Now, what is a reef? It's a raised area on the ocean flow made up of rock, sand or coral. So, atoll is a ring-shaped reef. It could be an island or chain of islands. It could be an island or chain of islands formed of coral, formed of coral and surround a part or whole lagoon or surround a part or whole lagoon. So that is what is meant by a toll. Understood? We move on to the fourth physiographic division of Brazil, the plains. Now the Brazilian plains are divided into two parts. Towards the north we have the Amazon plain. So this is the Amazon plain and towards the southwest we have the Paraguay and Paraná source region. First we'll see the Amazon basin. It lies between the Guyana and the Brazilian highlands. So the Amazon basin lies between the Guyana and the Brazilian highlands. It is the largest plain land in Brazil. It's it is wide in the west. It is wide in the west, approximately 1300 kilometers, and narrows towards the east, approximately 240 kilometers, where the two highlands, the Guyana Highlands and the Brazilian Highlands, come closer. Tropical rainforests are mostly found here. So we find tropical rainforests here. Now you'll get a give reason as to uh, say, why the rainforest, Amazon rainforests are not accessible. So you'll have to answer because due to dense undergrowth and frequent flooding, the, uh, the Amazon rainforests are inaccessible. We now move on to the Paraguay and Paraná source region. From the source region of Paraná and Paraguay River. So the Paraguay and Paraná source region, they form the source region of Paraná and Paraguay. So here the Paraguay and the Parana rivers begin. The source region of Paraguay slopes towards the south. 
and the so see if you go to see this is the figure so the source region of paraguay it slopes towards the south and the source region of parana slopes towards southwest so this is the parana river it slopes towards southwest if you see it slopes towards southwest Pantanal is the world's largest wetland and lies towards the southwest part of the highlands. So this is the southwest part of the highlands. So this is the Pantanal here. So what do we what do we mean by wetlands? Wetlands are nothing but areas where water covers the soil or is present either at or near the surface of the soil. They are present. The water is present. either throughout the year or for certain period of time it is a region of swamps and marshes in northwestern mato grosso do sul in brazil and extends into argentina so it extends into argentina and this is mato do uh, mato grosso do sul so this is uh, this is a picture of Uh, swamps and marshes if you see we have these um, trees growing here so what exactly we mean by swamps and marshes it means nothing but a piece of wet spongy land that is permanently or periodically covered with water so it is permanently or periodically covered with water that plants shrubs or trees with soft stem grow understood we now move on to the last physiographic division of brazil which are the islands okay so the brazilian islands are divided into two groups the coastal islands and the marine islands now what are coastal islands coastal islands are formed due to deposition of uh, soft soil okay by the water and marine islands uh Marine islands were a part of mainland Brazil. Now they are away by almost 300 km in the Atlantic Ocean. Marine islands are mostly rocky islands. If you see, they are uh, if you see they are rocky islands, and they are at the top of the submerged mountain. So this is actually a mountain. Half part of the mountain is below the water, and we can see the top of the mountain. So mostly rocky islands and they are submerged they are the top of the submerged mountains the islands near the coast of the south atlantic ocean are coral islands and they are called atolls so we've already seen what are coral islands and what are atolls with this we come to an end of our today's session i know you've understood Thank you. Take care. Stay home and stay safe.